Passive income is talked about everywhere. I thought it was something that I should be chasing and well, I never managed to get what I really thought it would be like. After reading a book called The Road to Less Stupid, I realized that what I thought passive income was, was far from the truth and that I shouldn't actually be chasing passive income and that it actually comes later down the road of wealth. Buying material things is often done without the investments to back it up. In the previous video, we discussed finances and it links with this video massively. For me, I've linked my investments, my finances, all the way to my personal goals and kind of combined them all together. So I will be able to buy material purchases through the cash flow generated through properties and then the returns generated through the S&P 500. This is something that I've set out for myself for the next 20 years to make sure that I can back up my material purchases or the things that I would like to buy with the investment returns from the multiple assets. So just to give you a little bit of an example, let's say you want to spend £100 a month on whatever it is. So literally anything that you want to buy, if it's under £100, you've got the go ahead to go and do that. But you can only do that if the returns from your investment exceed a certain amount. Now, obviously, this is up to you. It could literally be £100. If your investments make you £100, you withdraw that and you, you can buy whatever you want. You may want to reinvest, all that kind of stuff. I'm not going to be getting into that today. But essentially, you know, say I don't want to be spending more than my investments are making. And the investments are tools that you can be using to buy things that you want. They don't have to be active investments. They can be very, very passive. So for example, the S&P 500, dividends, all that kind of stuff, very, very passive. Now, the property is a little bit more uh, or less passive, I should say, but they are still passive for kind of uh, what they are in terms of the returns. So I'll be getting into what the book spoke about in terms of passive income and why it's not what you think it might be. So passive income for the majority of people, I think anyway, feel like passive income is something where you put a little bit of work in and then you get returns for years to come. And you put that work in and then you start seeing returns relatively quickly. And for most people, that means tomorrow. OK, now in the book Road to Less Stupid, he talks about what passive income is to his to him and why he sees it as something that is stupid for the majority of people and how they perceive it. So he says something along the lines of you can't expect to get returns from little effort. A good way to think about this is to say if I was to give you a plan for passive weight loss, whilst building muscle, it would be completely stupid. Yeah, how, how many people would actually think, oh yeah, that's real, you know, you just sit there, you lose weight and you build muscle and you can turn into the rock, right? It's just not how it works. And the same thing applies for wealth. You can't have passive wealth. So there's a task that I want you to do right now for your next section of your 20-year uh, your, your plan and that is your material purchases. Now, I'll put my material purchases up, up right now. Um, before, you know, you kind of put in the comment section, blah, 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 blah. These are my personal material purchases goals, right, for 20 years. So within 20 years, I want to have these material purchases. Do not think, you know, um, oh, these need to be my material purchases as well, or I need to copy these. Do whatever you want right you might you might not want a nice car you might want a better house you might want this you might want that you might want a, a watch you might just want nice clothes you might not want any material purchases but put something down so if you don't want anything just say i don't want any material purchases now that is a little bit tricky because as your wealth grows you're probably going to want to spend it on something nicer and a material purchase to one person is not a material purchase to another so I would kind of try and put something down, but it doesn't need to be as lavish as a Lamborghini, for example. So put something down in that material purchases section, put some images along with it as well to help you visualize it. And yeah, that is your task for today. It's a very, very simple one. It's quite a fun one because obviously everyone or the majority of people like looking at material purchases. So have fun with it. 
don't think about how you're going to achieve it yet. Um, just think about what you would want within a 20 year span. So hope you've enjoyed it. Um, as I mentioned in the previous video, I am going to be setting up a new Discord group where I'll be sharing S&P 500 trades all the way up to my 20 year goals, hopefully. Um, however, I'll be sharing that. I'm hoping to share that all the way up. And also, I'm going to be sharing some educational content, which is more around, you know, sharing other people's content to, to help you so that you don't have to go out and watch loads of videos and read loads of books to find the nuggets of wisdom. So I hope you've enjoyed this. If you're interested in joining that private Discord group, drop, hit the join button below and you'll be able to join there. Um, I hope you have an amazing day and, remember, and I will see you in the next video.